Hi guys, Josh here. Welcome to Frames Per Second. Today we're shooting some Ektar on our Mia 605 and we're just going to go around finding colourful things. We've got some graffiti on trains here. So we're going to do some Martha Cooper kind of inspired stuff at first and then we'll move on. Okay, so we've shot Ekta before on this channel, but here we're doing it a little bit differently. We're shooting some graffiti on trains, and we're using my 300mm lens, which I really haven't had much of a chance to use, so I thought I would with this. And so this is a bit different to my usual style. I'm not doing street, I'm not doing portraits. We're kind of just shooting graffiti almost in the way that Martha Cooper used to, except she had much longer lenses and much cooler trains with much cooler graffiti from the 70s. But you can see from the images that classic Ektar color saturation and also the kind of yellow cars of the train kind of really popped as well. We have the danger sign which was just on the ground and the colors pop once again. Especially those reds, the greens feel a bit dead. The stuff like reds, yellows, pinks really pop out and I really love this shot and just this location to be honest with that fallen fence it's just cool to me and of course it's good contrast, good colour but I know that the pop of Ektar can be a bit much for people and if it is a bit too much there are other films you can use but I honestly love colour and I love saturation and when it's used right it really really works and here's just a random blue house that I drove past which I thought I'd see how well it does and here it looks quite nice. But what looks even better is the sky behind the house. And these were just some random trees on this street that were wrapped with ribbon. I think it was just after Christmas when I did this video and so I think this was part of that and I just thought it was kind of cool and weird so I grabbed one shot and then when I was driving back home I realized that I could see the other side of the train tracks and could kind of get even closer shots of the graffiti and the colors turned out really really great. This shot I do like in particular just because I like the kind of pattern of the fence. You have that little witch's hat which just really pops with the orange. Here I'm trying to get some foreground from a branch but it looks like my finger is covering the lens but that's not the case. And here I was hand holding a 300mm lens so it was really tricky getting this shot and I managed to get it just as a train was driving through which turned out pretty cool but I think the focus is just a bit behind that and on the trees behind it and lastly I saw this bit of graffiti through the window of this kind of abandoned building and I took the last photo on it and it turned out quite fantastically. This time I did bring out the tripod just because I knew I'd be struggling with the shutter speed. And so I think I was like on a 10th or 15th maybe with that. And considering I didn't have my shutter release cable, it was a bit tricky, but we got the shot and I think it's great. And it's probably my favorite shot of this roll. But feel free to go back and check the other videos where I've shot Ekta. There's more information on those films in those videos because I do think this is the third or fourth video I did on Ekta. So go back, check those out. But I hope I was still able to be informative with this video as well. Hope you liked the episode. Let me know your thoughts on Ekta 100. I know we've shot it on this channel before, but we were doing a bit, something a bit different. It wasn't exactly landscape. I don't know if I'd call it that, but yeah, we're doing more just stuff without people in it because I know I do a lot of street so I thought we'd try something a bit different I haven't used my 300 millimeter lens in a long time so I thought this was a good reason to use it as well so I hope the last few images aren't too shaky because I was doing that handheld and not on the tripod because I got a bit lazy but if they are that's why and that's my fault but anyway guys thank you for watching like subscribe turn this post notifications so you know when there's a new episode anyway I'm Josh it's been frames per second just get out there shoot some film